Okay. Hi guys, welcome back. So today, um, I'm probably going to be doing two videos, but for now we're just going to do this one. Um, so what we're doing is uh, I'm going to be covering my Stan Lee tribute piece with resin. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to uh, finish your pieces with resin. <clears throat> so the type of resin I'm using is Envirotex Life. Um, this one's the hardener. This is the resin itself. Um, and I just got this from Michaels. Um, and this is uh, art resin. Not casting resin. Okay, alright, so what you're going to do is, I've got two three ounce cups. I'm going to fill them both up to the top with uh, each part. Uh, one's going to get the hardener, the other's going to get the resin. So we're going to do that real fast. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to need six ounces total of this, which is why I'm doing three ounces of each. It's a uh, one-to-one -one ratio for these and that's important if you have too much of one or the other it's not going to set right so then this is the resin itself just trying to help it get out faster so I'm squeezing it <clears throat> so next I also have two nine ounce cups and this is what I'm going to mix the resin in so and again I also have or not again but I also have two stir sticks what you're going to do is once you have them portioned out the same you're going to pour them both in one cup stir it up really good scrape the sides and then you're going to transfer it from this cup to the other cup and uh, all resins are different, so you want to make sure you read your directions. I know there's some that you just have to mix in one cup, but this one wants you to mix it in one and then mix it over to the other. I think it just wants to make sure that you uh, thoroughly mix it, which is important. All right, so we're going to add hardener in first. And I use my stick to scrape the sides out and make sure I get all that in there. This also isn't necessarily the cheapest way to seal your paintings, but it's, in my opinion, it, it, it seals it the nicest. It's the nicest uh, coating for it. And I want this to uh, obviously be a nice piece. So I'm putting this extra effort into it because I think it deserves it. So now here's the resin going in. And I think you can kind of see it's a thicker consistency, so that's why you want to make sure you scrape the sides. All right, so now we're going to mix it. And the package says you want to stir it for about a minute in each cup. Also, um, this is a thing that you do need heat for. So you do want to make sure you have a torch or a hair dryer would work or a heat gun. Um, you want to pop the bubbles. If you don't pop the bubbles, then again, it's not going to set right in all the places. <clears throat> and you'll have some areas that are thinner than others.
I don't know if you can see all the bubbles that are flying out of here, but there is a very strong possibility to get bubbles in there. That's, again, why you need the uh, torch. And the torch is going to pop all those bubbles. So I'm going to scrape this out of here into this other cup. Onto our new stir stick, stirring in the new cup. There's a lot of resin in here, so hopefully this isn't too much. If I feel like it is when I go to pour it on it, I do have some paintings down here that I need to seal for, of my brothers, so we might uh, pour it on there. And I should probably add that this painting did not have any silicone in it, so I don't need to clean it off. I would have had to uh, do that anyways before I put the vinyls on, because the vinyls don't stick right either, if you have uh, silicone in your painting. Alright, that should be good. So let me real fast lift you up. And it also recommends that you wear gloves for this. I clearly decided not to do that. Um, so I'm going to find out if that was a wise decision or not. All right, so here it is. And we're just going to pour the resin on here. And this is probably the moment where I'm gonna wish I had put gloves on, but yeah, so I'm just gonna spread this out. I notice it's uh, faster and easier when you uh, don't have gloves on. Oh, of course. That is just perfect right there. Not when you don't have gloves on, uh, when you spread it around with your hands, it uh, works a lot faster. All right, well, Fantastic Four logo is losing its circle because it does not want to stay. Right, so we got it on the outside. We need to spread it out over here. Got a lot there, but not a lot over here. This is, uh, for those that are wondering, it is very sticky. So yeah, uh, wear some gloves. Hopefully you all find a little bit of enjoyment of the fact that uh, I decided to ignore a rule. Go without it. That's actually why I was waiting to do this video. I was waiting to get more gloves. And then I totally forgot to get gloves. And I was like, I'm going to finish this painting today. And yeah, look at that. Alright, so I'm even like doing a light coat on the sides of it. Making sure I got all covered. There we go. Yeah, that's good. You can see a kind of dull shine to it at the moment. These are my hands. Very sticky. I feel like I was playing with... Um, slime might be the best, best description. Yeah, so uh, I recommend gloves. Um, now we're going to let this sit for a few minutes, uh, per the instructions, and then we're going to torch it. We're going to torch it twice. I like to torch it twice, make sure I get it all done. So, while this sits for a second, I'm going to hopefully wipe my hands off. I did.
I did get most of it off with a paper towel. So <laughs> it does work to get it off. Paper towel does. <laughs> as long as you do it, I'm sure, right away. All right, so we're going to torch this real fast. And you don't want to get too close to it. We're just popping our bubbles. So we're going to let this sit for a second. Because again, I'm going to want to torch it again. I just want to be extra sure I got all the air bubbles out. I'm going to let it in. See, because there are some that pop up late. So... I'm going to move this over to the side, though, and uh, we'll be back with a uh, second video, I believe. I'll torch this again in that video. But um, So, yeah, that's putting resin on your paintings. Um, kind of wish my circle stayed there, but it didn't, so, oh well, it happens. But, um, yeah, so this takes... That's 72 hours to set fully. So you wanna make sure you set it in a place that it's not gonna get dusty, knocked over, stuff dropped in it, that sort of thing. Right. So uh, that was, again, resin. Hope you enjoy. Remember, if you like this video, put a like on it and uh, don't forget to subscribe. All right, thank you.